Hey guys, all Jack Tips Wolf here once again. Another video done on my phone since my camera battery is charging and it has to be pulled out of the camera to charge. But anyway, these are, uh, this video is going to be on my overclocking settings for my computer. And so basically, I'm just going to boot into the BIOS and show you what's up. So we'll power on the computer. I'll feature the screen, which I will power on. And who knows what this is going to be like with YouTube. Oh, oh crap, I expressed the lead. Okay, so we're booting into my BIOS. As you can see, we have four devices connected. Uh, oh my god, you know, I'm going to start using my phone, just to let you guys know, I'm going to start using my phone when I do video on, like, computer screens and stuff. So, yeah. Because, as you can tell, that's a lot better, a lot more visible than my other camera. But anyway, back to the video. As you can see, I have my four devices connected. I have my uh, 1.5 TB drive, first drive listed, and then a DVD drive, and then a 40 gig Western Digital drive, and then another DVD drive. So, as you can see, the time of recording, if any of you guys are curious. So... We'll go over here to jumper free configuration. And as you can see, I have my uh, CPU slash, uh, slash HT reference clock, basically the front side bus, at 260. Uh, 260 megahertz. And then I have my multiplier for my processor set at 14. Sorry about the shakiness. I also have my Northbridge or CPU, uh, yeah, Northbridge CPU slash Northbridge frequency at 10x, and I also have my CPU over voltage at 4. Point, or 4 points. That's just kidding. 1.475 volts, and I have my VDDNB over voltage just set at auto, just because, and I really haven't messed with that. And load line calibration at 12.9%. So if we come down here to my hypertransport config, you see I have my hypertransport link at 200 mega 200 bleh, 2000 megahertz, and everything else set to auto because uh, with the time the uh, oh shoot uh, with uh, the times 10 multiplier on the north bridge frequency and my 260 uh, front side bus whatever megahertz, kind of tired if you guys can't tell. Uh, I have those set, so I'm still in my motherboard specifications of 2.6 gigahertz, so I don't need to really change voltage. So we come down here, and if you guys pay attention to my sidebar, I haven't updated my sidebar in a long time, and as you can see, I am running currently 888.20 timings on my RAM. Uh, come down here, scroll down, and we have 1.65 volts. So yeah, if you guys pay attention, those have changed. I still need to change those. I'm just too lazy to do it. 8.8.8.20. So yeah, most of my videos are going to be done on my phone uh, nowadays. So basically, they're going to be in HD. Which, as long as these colors are a lot better, which they seem to me right now, they seem a lot better. We'll see what it looks like when this is uploaded on YouTube. Might have to do a redo on this with my other camera. But anyway, let's go back through some more BIOS. Crap. So we go CPU configuration. And as you can see, there's my processor. AMD Athlon 2 X4 630 Revision C2. And they have my cache. Half a megabyte level 1 and 2 megabyte level 2. And as you can see, my frequency of 3.64 gigahertz. And the north bridge says it's at 2,000. Okay, that's wrong. I know that for a fact. Anyway, I'll show you that in CPU-Z. And enable change out of frequency, blah, 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 blah. And if you guys really care about those, you can pause the video right here. But, yeah. So most of you probably won't care about those. So anyway, ACC, I don't have enabled, because I don't need to. And let's just go chipset, Northbridge, memory, 
it's basically all stock stuff, except for internal graphics, because I have my other graphics card in here. Um, yeah, you can see I tried overclocking, which, yeah. It's actually not running overclocked right now, but, oh crap, it is. Yeah, that would have been my problem. Hey, you know what? Thank you, YouTube. Hope I can solve a problem. Anyway, uh, I'll disable this because it's supposed to be disabled. Whoa. Sorry about that. Okay. Anyway, these are my normal settings. I don't know how the heck that changed. But if you could tell, I did have the onboard graphics overclocked. Uh, if you really want to see that, go back. But I ain't going back because I'm kind of rushed for time because we'll see how long my phone will last. And basically all this is stock settings, defaults, I mean, whatever you want to call it. Basically everything else is default. Uh, here, if we go to my hardware monitor configuration, you can see my voltages. Uh, like I said, pretty darn stable. See my V-Core, 1.47, whatever. But it's pretty much idling, so voltage, you know, it has a little wee way. So you can see it dropped to four, uh, 0.456 volts instead of 475. But anyway, you can see voltages are solid at good voltage ranges. And yeah, like I said, I have a really good power supply. And as you can see, we have 31 degrees Celsius in the BIOS. And yeah, in the BIOS. <laughs> anyway, let's scroll down and I'll show you the rest of my settings. Okay, down here, I changed these. I think this one was at 55. Changed it to 51. Uh, just trying to keep the computer cool as I want to have this one forever. So, as you can see, changed it so it sets the fan at full speed when it hits 51 degrees Celsius, which it never does. But just in case. Okay, so anyway, if we go to our fan auto start mode, it'll auto start at 6 volts. And that's when it hits 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah, those are pretty much my. S uh, I guess I do have boot. Uh, you guys really don't need to see these because it's boot. Who cares? Uh, anyway, I had ExpressGate disabled uh, just for a uh, faster boot, and I don't even use ExpressGate, so what's the point? And those are pretty much my BIOS settings. So yeah, I guess we'll save and exit. Okay. And I'll show you what it's like in CPZ. Maybe. Well, they didn't screw up any settings. M4A75 TT-M EVO from Asus. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, you know, I just kind of noticed my hand might have been covering the microphone. So if you can't hear me, and you can now, I'm an idiot. That's right. Still not used to it, but it's a lot better looking. I hope you guys can tell. Because from here, it looks a heck of a lot better. Focus is a lot better. And I'll actually get to show you my settings and, I guess, everything in CPZ. So, I'm just let my computer load. Uh, it takes a little while to boot because I did change settings in the miles. CPZ. Yes! Okay. Okay, Derek. So we come in here, and this is yes, I know, hard to see, but it's better than my other camera. So as you can see, my frequency, which is 3.64 gigahertz, and my north bridge is actually at 2.6 gigahertz. Or not north bridge. What am I smoking? Anyway, I'm not smoking anything. Just in case you're wondering. But yeah, 2.6 gigahertz on the hyper threading link, or not. I'm not okay. As you can tell, I'm tired. I already said that. But hyperthreading is Intel. This is hypertransport. Hypertransport. Okay. Anyway, we'll go to my memory speed in case you guys cared about this. There. In case you guys care, pause the video. So I'm not doing it for you. And we have my memory. Blah 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 blah. If you care about that, you can see this. I'm going to go through it. That stuff's not there, so we'll just zoom in for you. That's it. 8 gig.